Hello everyone, it's Richard Lewis here with another video, and today I'm going to be doing what a lot of people who make YouTube videos do. I'm going to be riding on the coattails of some good old-fashioned drama. I'm not above it, done it before, and I like to chip in with my two cents whenever anything's going on. So today I'm going to be talking about something that occurred uh, last night by my time zone, and that was the incident with Marquis Rank S. Uh, and steal the allegations specifically of stream sniping. So I was actually awake at the time that this was happening uh, because my sleep pattern's been a little bit messed up. Those who regularly follow my Twitter and regularly follow my content will know I've had a very bad eye infection. Uh, it's on the mend at the moment. It's still a little bit weepy today. It's still a little bit droopy, but uh, it's, it's getting better. It's responding to treatment. Uh, and I've got um, to see a doctor tomorrow, so, you know, all good. Uh, but I was I was up because I've had a bit of a fever with it, and I've not been able to sleep. So what I like to do with my time uh, is, you know, kind of just browse Twitch. And I, I thought I'll drop in on Steel's stream, because Steel was streaming pretty late. And Steel's a good entertainer. I like to watch it and see how he's getting on. And uh, funnily enough, I, I was kind of watching this unfold just as it happened. So... To give you guys a summary of what I saw, Marquis, uh, who is a player for NRG, uh, was uh, in a game against Steel, and they were basically uh, Steel noticed that his name was in his Twitch uh, chat viewers, suggesting that Marquis was watching the stream. Now, again, maybe you don't understand why this would be a big deal. Um, obviously, if I had multiple monitors like most pro players do especially streamers uh if i was playing a game against them i could watch another player's stream and while it would have a delay and i wouldn't necessarily be able to pre-fire or wall hack or whatever i could certainly use it to uh hear calls uh see rotations uh you know g get ideas for strategies and, and and that kind of thing and depending on how long the delay actually was I could actually use it in certain situations, you know, towards the end of rounds and that kind of thing. Um, so, stream, and, and also as well, uh, another thing that uh, is out there is communications, obviously quite key. Sometimes um, these people all have, uh, these pro players have a group mumble. People can jump in and out and uh, of, of those mumbles and hear things or put people in those mumbles and people don't notice and they can relay information. Now, why would anybody be doing this? Well, just to put it in context, maybe you don't understand, Rank S isn't just a prestigious thing. ESCA have actually put money into Rank S, and the top 10 players at the end of each month will get a share of, I think it's $20,000. And Mark E has won $9,000 uh, and has had the top spot in Rank S before, the overall MMR or ELO or ranking, whatever you want to call it, and made $5,000 for doing so. Now, all the while, he's been plagued by these allegations of cheating, and I won't indulge the cheating allegations. Here's one thing I will say before I get into this video. Uh, the North American scene's a little bit of an embarrassment in how it deals with new and upcoming players. Uh, everybody's a cheater to begin with. Case in point, Stewie2k. Uh, when Stewie2k was tearing people up in pugs and, and, and whatnot, everybody was convinced he must be a cheater. They didn't know his name, he didn't have a reputation, he didn't have pedigree, and here he was shitting on people, so he must be a cheat. And that's what people were alleging. And I think there's a YouTube video uh, called Everyone Hates Stewie or something, which kind of illustrates this point. And of course, none of that is true. It just turns out he was a phenomenal talent. Um, and, and this is typical of North American Counter-Strike. It always has been down the years. Which isn't to say there haven't been blatant cheaters in the past. Uh, you can go ask people about Glocketeer, for example. But... Um, you know, certainly, I, I think people are a little bit too quick to jump into allegations. And Marky obviously has talent, right? But the reality here is that this is somebody who has a history 
of doing this kind of thing of stream sniping and conferring advantages from it and jumping in people's mumbles and discords or whatever and conferring advantages from it and this isn't just wild ludicrous fantasy this isn't marquis first offense not by a long chalk i'll show you a, a couple of clips uh here which illustrate past instances the first one is uh, probably is the more famous of the two. This is when he just jumped into Tarek's uh, mumble uh, that his team's channel and was just listening to calls they were making at the start of a round. Dude, Marky, why do you join our channel? Why does... Is this kid fucking so serious? Annoying. He did. Wow. That's incredible. What the fuck? How does he get the balls to just do that shit? He's ranked it's unbelievable. That's he's in here too. I can't believe that. So that's the Tarek uh, instance. Uh, perhaps lesser known is that uh, he did it with Dazed as well uh, another time. Uh, and uh, here's the video of that, uh, also taken from uh, Twitch TV clips. Yeah, he just heard, he just heard what he said. Yeah. <laughs> But like, I don't understand. You still want to go along? Dazed? Oh. Sure. I can't wait until Trump makes Marky pay for the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little. Bit. You guys know all those ESA winnings go to that, right? All right, now with the second clip, I'll, I'll bring up something that often gets brought up when we have conversations about Marky, and that is that he's somehow bullied by all these other players in rank S. Well, first of all, here's what I will say. Um, in the pro scene, you're not obligated to like every other pro, right? Like, you, there's just no grounds for that to be true whatsoever and Marky is a thoroughly dislikable player actually I mean I I've watched him stream multiple times he'll casually call people the n-word um this is a matter of record uh he's very argumentative and um you know because his English isn't so great he doesn't articulate himself particularly well um and that can obviously create a communication barrier and obviously, at that, at that juncture, it's very hard to even engage with somebody that doesn't really, you know, speak of the lingo, right? So that's not a, to say he should learn English or whatever, and, and, and I'm not trying to put him down on that basis. But certainly, it's very hard to find advocates for you if you can't really communicate and express why you're supposedly innocent of these things. So I, I dismiss out of hand that this is some sort of coordinated uh, bullying um, and, and, and Marky's just some innocent little, you know, lost player. I, I see this brought up a lot that he gets bullied and harassed. It's simply not true. He's disliked and on the evidence and on his past behavior, that's fair. Okay, so those were two clips that I've just shown you there, uh, which um, obviously have some instances of, of past transgressions. But let's get into what happened last night. Now, last night, uh, Steele actually confronted um, Marky about it, and it's quite a lengthy video. And you can go watch it, I believe it was on the CSGO Reddit front page. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I, I think uh, for kind of the sake of the video, and hopefully with Steele's permission, because I've talked to Steele Steel about this, um, I'll bring, I'll, I'll play a little part of the video so you can just see the kind of context around it. Uh, let me just find it. Um, okay. Might be better to just play it off the uh, Twitch, actually, because I've got that to hand. Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, so basically, what? Oh no, hang on. Here, here is a YouTube video of it. So basically, what happens is after they realise he's in the chat and they show that he's in the chat with a screenshot, uh, they they sit down and confront him. And Marky's defence is pretty terrible. I mean, he can't justify why his account's there. He, he can't even keep his story consistent. He 
is all over the place saying, yeah, it's my account, but uh, I but I wasn't there and I didn't do it, but I haven't been hacked. It's just all over the place. So you can uh, kind of watch that for yourself here. It's crazy. He's in your chat. Yeah, he's got in. I got the screenshot of it with him in the viewer list. Yeah. So and then he left? I'm sorry, that's a few. Uh, Marky. Really, yeah. dude? Why, Why are you doing that, man? <laughs> what are you talking <laughs> <laughs> Nah, that's really lame, dude. Wow. What? You know exactly what you were doing. You even left the chat. Why would you do it's, that? I guess someone else is on your what do you Twitch mean? account. I guess someone else is on your Twitch account, dude. On my Twitch account? Yeah. Where's your Twitch account? Yeah, did you fucking check chat? Yeah, I did. Do you, do you see me right there? I have a screenshot of it, you fucking idiot! Do it, do it. What do you mean, do it, do it? Show me the screenshot, Send me the screenshot. Josh. All right, there you go. You did you see that? I'll save the image if you can't where, see it. Where? So hey, Mumble, blurry. can you see it? Hang on. I'll save it. It's cool. Is your Twitch Marky underscore one? Yeah. yeah I see Oh, it. Marky. I see Marky underscore one. I it's see like that. the 10th down from the top. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bullshit. That's not me. Why are you doing that? <laughs> I don't get it. That's... <sighs> Why are you crying? That's that's so stupid. So that's not you? Steel no. line? I'm not saying it's live, but it's not me. Wait, so it is you. It's not me. That's your account, right? This is your account, right? Marky underscore one, right? Yeah. That's not you? His account got hacked, no. guys. So your account got hacked? I'm not even fucking logged in. I'm like... So your account got hacked? No. Then how <laughs> could it not be you? So, so it's not you, but your account wasn't hacked. Mm -hmm. I just log in. I just log in right now. So then how could you be in the chat and still chat? I mean, it's I your know. account. And then how come you left when Steel called you out? Yeah, that's just a big coincidence, dude. Why'd you just leave when Steel called you out? They just... So the person that hacked your account is in there. And then when oh, Steel yeah, called them sure. out, the person who hacked your account cares. Enough to, to and leave it. Left. Yeah. Hoping that, that we went so screenshot it or something. Too bad I got fucking dank ass mods. That is pretty sick. I mean, that's sick. <laughs> so what happened, Marky? I gotta get it. Can you uh, explain it? You're honestly pathetic I mean, as I fuck, see, dude. I see the screenshot. So, that's just... Right. So what? what's the explanation, Marky? Like, Daze and I know all about getting caught red-handed and lying about it. And we yeah, see right through you. <laughs> you're, tra Richard, <laughs> you're transparent <laughs> as fuck right now, Marky. Well, where was Richard Lewis indeed? Turns out I was actually watching. Um, and, uh, you know, you can see immediately, right? Like his story, Marky's story is all over the place. Uh, it's not my account, but it is. I just logged in now. Why? And then also a very strange one. Why are you crying? Like, why is it a big deal? Uh, well, obviously, it's a very big deal for the reasons that I cited earlier. And I'm going to get into a that a little bit more specifically but um a lot of people then started to push back on this evidence okay and i'm, I'm gonna uh, show you why you will notice something about the screenshot and the screenshot uh, has one particular thing that stands out about it um and let's jump back in here let's suppose that you're writing a Let's not suppose a goddamn thing, lady right so let's put this here uh right so this is the screenshot and you will notice Look, uh, you will see Marky has it, it, the capitalization as he has in his name. That's with the capital K and the capital E. But look here. Everyone else has no capitalization in their names. Even though I can assure you some of these usernames do indeed have capitalization. And, uh, for example, McNugget Man. McNugget Man, I'm, I'm making you famous, brother. You were the person that i had a look at i went to your twitch account and indeed that second m is a capital m so why is it that marquis is perfect and everyone else is wrong well this the conclusion 
of people on Reddit and on social media was that Steele or a mod or some interested party had gone in, used inspect element to change Marquis' name so it was perfect, not realizing that when you use viewer list, it only has the first letter that is capitalized and therefore this screenshot is bogus. Well, I can tell you that is a possibility. That is actually a possibility that somebody did that. Uh, and it's certainly very easy. Uh, recently, if you followed uh, drama outside of esports, you'll see that Sargon of Akkad was recently suspended from Twitter uh, for supposedly asking for child porn uh, from a Twitter account called Milo Molested Me. And the only evidence for this was Twitter DMs. Well, of course, it was complete horseshit. There's absolutely no way that uh, he would do this, and it was faked using inspect element. It's very easy to do, and this is why when you see screenshots, you have got to take them with a pinch of salt. Trust me, as a journalist, I get sent screenshots all the time, and I say, well, this screenshot's pretty incriminating, but I can't use it unless there's some form of at least secondary evidence here that would verify this. What I often do is I often log into someone's account, uh, so I can look at the messages themselves and verify it. If people aren't willing to let you do that, um, then you've just got to let the story drop. So I know that, uh, the, you know, these things can happen. And certainly, uh, there may have been uh, a groundswell of sentiment, like, oh, let's get Marky. But it doesn't ring true to me, and I'm going to give you several reasons as to why. Now, first of all... On the grounds that uh, this screenshot is bogus and Marky's capitalized, uh, well, I'm going to show you how sometimes that just happens. Um, so here we go. I got another uh, screenshot here, right? Now, in this screenshot, and this was just brought up by someone else on Reddit, you will notice uh, that here, uh, let's just, um, can I zoom in there? Okay. So you can see here, bullet one three, fishbowl one three, you know, mama dog. The, these uh, have uh, capitalization in the names. But actually, what I wanted to do was just an exercise and see was it possible to have capitalization in the name, but others not. And I picked out this name because it was, it was the, the second longest and the most likely. It was all letters, so it was the most likely to have an outcome. And it was Acid Snow Scarab. And Acid, this is just off a random Twitch channel. Uh, so Acid Snow Scarab. So you can see there's people who have capital letters in the name, and he's all lowercase. Well, interestingly enough, if you go to Acid Snow Scarab's uh, uh, Twitter, uh, sorry, not Twitter, Twitch, sorry, rather, uh, let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. Right, well, that didn't work. That was like a magician. Uh, right, there we go. So you can see here, uh, you can see Acid, Snow, Scarab. Look at all this capitalization. So again, it's like that on the picture, but he's all lowercase. And that proves that sometimes Twitch will not display uh, everything consistently. Now, why is that? I have no idea as to why that might be, but again, just so you can see, lowercase there, while these guys have capitals in their name. So, what is the root cause of this discrepancy? Why is it possible that that screenshot might not be fake? Well, I don't know, but I got sent an extensive write-up while I was having a nap, because uh, as I said, these uh, drugs certainly kick my ass. Uh, that I'm on. I'm on strong antibiotics and painkillers, so uh, I'm in and out of consciousness. It's like, it's like being an old man. There's not really a lot I can do about it. But I got sent an incredible write-up uh, from someone called McAdams TV. And McAdams TV uh, was very thorough in what he did. And I, I'll just show you the write-up so you know this isn't something that I've just made up to try and strengthen my own argument. Write-up regarding Marky Screenshot Authenticity Twitch Viewer List and more. And uh, you can see that he went on and talks about the Twitch drama and why he got involved. And then he said that I got word that the screenshot might be fake. Well, initially, I thought I had debunked the screenshot myself 
on my end at least, I would only see names capitalized if it was the name of the account I was logged into. For example, my primary account, McAdams TV, is displayed in capitals to me, but not when logged into a different account. And he shows screenshots of this. Not really relevant to the argument that we're making. And then he said, a user on Steele's Discord noted that he can see some names with their capitalizations and others without, shown here. As you can see from the image, only the name Emperor is capitalized, even though other users in the screenshot have capitalization in their name. And that's just like the one I showed you earlier. So again, probably not too much uh, benefit in dragging the video out any longer and, and bringing that up. But this leads us to believe that the issue is with better TTV. This screenshot, and this is a plug-in, by the way, this screenshot shows the chat on the left without be better TTV and the chat on the right with it. So this was a uh, uh, this was another um, kind of uh, theory that people had, that it was something to do with this plug-in. Now, I've just shown you, I, I, I don't use better TTV, so, but I will, I will just show you here that screenshot so you can see uh, for yourself. And there you have it. So this is the one with and without. And you will see, look, dunked on compared to dunked on. So if you use better TTV, sometimes some will be capitalized and some won't. So again, it's perfectly within the realms of possibility. The idea that this screenshot, leaping to the conclusion that this screenshot is fake, I don't know. I, I think that's a little bit too uh, strong for me, um, honestly. So... And, and you can see it quite clearly um, on your screen. Now, I'll go back to the Google Doc because there's yet another reason and more evidence as to why this could be the case and why it might happen. So, copy that back. And here it is. So, we scroll down past that. So, <clears throat> that could be a potential reason. And also, it says, additionally... At the time of initially discovering Mark in the chat, Steele and other users used a better TTV autofill feature, which auto-completes the name of users in the chat. And you can see in the VOD, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So, given everything we have here, we can say for sure, what we can say for sure is that Marky probably was stream sniping, and the screenshot is probably real. And I think that's a fair conclusion. Then you can see down here, he also says another possible explanation for capitalization, which I think is interesting. A lot of people have been questioning why only Marky's name is capitalized. And in the initial screenshot, it's been brought to my attention by Reddit user Not Linear Lines that when you type in a chat, your name will be displayed correctly with capitalization and all. I tried this myself in various chats with various users, and it does in fact work. If I join a channel, my name is displayed as McAdams TV. But once I type, it goes to McAdams TV in capitals. And this could explain why Marky's name is capitalized, because he did, in fact, type in Steele's chat last night. Now, so he went through Steele's logs and sent me this screenshot, which is, again, proof that he was there. I mean, so this, for me, is a pretty big smoking gun. These are from the logs. He was definitely on Steele's uh, stream at some point last night, you can see the date, and you can see that he typed, Kappa Kappa, I wish you could subscribe to this beautiful channel, Kappa. So there it is, there's the exact time that he was, he typed. Now because he typed, the theory is there that that would have made his name appear capitalized. Now for me, I don't even think you need to go into this in depth. There's obviously some form of interactivity that does capitalize some usernames sometimes, and other times not. And I'm going to just show you the original moment when Marquis was discovered in the chat. Uh, and what happened immediately afterwards. And you can tell me if you think this is a fake based on what happens. Because you've got Steele's reaction. Now Steele might have studied drama. But I'll tell you from the I by power situation. Not a good actor. Right? Love the guy. Not a good actor. Um, much better singer. Uh, but also, how did he coordinate everybody in Twitch chat reacting to Marky's presence without saying anything? I mean, this is like mind control. So I'm going to just get to the part of the uh, VOD, which I believe I've got it. Okay. Ooh. Nice play. Nice. He's coming up. 
Oh, nice job. Last gets scared. Wait. Wait. Marky Wait. underscore one. Is that his Twitch name? I don't know, dude. Because okay. if it is, he's in my chat. Oh, yeah, that's him. Yeah, it is. Is that actually his? Twitch yeah. Name? He's actually yeah. in my he's chat. Right? No, it is. That guy's What's legit. I'm not even kidding. Back, he's yeah. actually in my chat. Go go in uh, his DSCA profile. See really linked there. He's actually. I'm not even making it up. Wow, that's so fucked up. Seriously? How yeah. Do I How do? I just gotta focus on this. Thor, unless that's you. Nope. Well, now we door. leave? Now Some we fucking leave. He's, right. he he He's gone now? He, he just left. Did he, he just left chat. Fuck off. He left. No, my, my chat saw it though. Did they screenshot it? I mean, what, what proof do we have if you haven't seen it? Can you keep swimming in the wood? Yeah. Bathrooms. Smoked it. One barrel. Or pillar. Okay, smoke heaven. Turn and boost Okay. Smoke it and then boost it. Now, you saw it yourself. There are dozens of people reacting to Marky being in the chat. People are atting him. People are saying hi. People are accusing him of stream sniping. They're doing it, actually, before Steel has even said anything. So, how has that occurred, if this is fake, if Marky wasn't in the chat? How has that occurred? And I've shown you, we know he was definitely in there that night. We know he definitely interacted with the chat that night. These are inarguable facts. So... It, it says it says to me that the chances of this being a faked screenshot are incredibly slim. Now, here's what I will say. If ESEA's subsequent investigation hinges on the screenshot, if the screenshot is all they have, then yes, you would absolutely have to say there's no way that you can uh, convict on that. But they don't. They have the fact that there's proof that he was in the chat that night. You've got Steele's reaction. You've got the reaction of everybody there. You've got Marquis' reaction, actually, afterwards, where he can't even just say, it wasn't me. You've got the fact that he's done this multiple times. Um, and, and, let, and let's be clear here why I would be more um, inclined to lean on issuing a punishment here. This is somebody who's got away with it time and time and time again. And what is Rank S? Rank S is meant to be an environment where fellow pros uh, can come together, play pickup matches with each other. It's meant to be a, you know, safe, not as stressful environment. Uh, it's meant to be, uh, you know, a way to make money. Uh, it's meant to be a, a, an area where you don't have to deal with the shit of being a minor celebrity because everyone's in the same boat. And ESEA have set that up. A marquee has done nothing but disrupt that. I mean, people don't want to play with him. They don't want to play against him. And if you look at previous instances where, uh, you know, players have been disrupted, like, for example, the complexity coach, Warden, who was going through a divorce and was being an asshole, he got banned for a week and then told he'd have to re-qualify for rank S. And this was just for being a jerk, which I think is well within your rights uh, when you play games. Now, stream sniping is a different kettle of fish entirely. And this is the point I want to end on. Marquis done it multiple times. This isn't even up for debate. Um, he, he appears to have done it again. 
And all the evidence really points to that. Like, even if we remove the screenshot being faked out of the equation, you can see there's plenty of other circumstantial evidence that I think would convince people that actually he was doing it. And for guys like Steele and Days, this especially sucks. Because we all know with their current situation, rank S is a big part of their income. It's a big part of their, you know, streaming appeal. Uh, it, it, it's kind of like a high point for them ever since the Valve bans came in. And I don't want to see people taking things away from them uh, any more than they've already had. I mean, they've ultimately lost everything from a top-tier Counter-Strike perspective. And for somebody to come in and be stream-sniping them and effectively robbing them the chance of more money, I think that really sucks. I think that's a terrible thing to do. And I don't always agree with the SEA. In fact, I loathe them as a company. I think they stand for everything that's rotten in esports. Um, and certainly, I, I, it, it galls me that they're in a position where they can make a profit. But generally, I have found them to be decent when it comes to dealing with conduct around their players. And I know they take rank S very seriously indeed. I think the best thing to do here would be because there's actually it, it states in the rank s rules that if you're caught stream sniping you uh could potentially be banned from the league as well so you wouldn't be able to compete in any esea competitions i think the happy medium here is i don't think what marky has done in rank s should affect him outside of rank s but i think he needs a lengthy ban from rank s and it's not just for this it's for all the other stuff it's for the fact he's a disruptive influence. It's for the fact he doesn't even appreciate the position he's in to, to be in rank S in the first place. And when you're doing anything that's even slightly dishonest or untoward to gain advantages in a financial competition, you should be rightly labeled a cheat uh, and you should be rightly castigated for that because it's it's simply not proper. It, it, it's uh, you know morally and ethically wrong. So... Th those are my thoughts on it. I think we've seen enough evidence to suggest strongly that the chances of the screenshot being faked are slim, but that chance does still exist. But I think when combined with all the other evidence, I think ESEA really need to take a stand on this and, you know, put Marky out of rank S for, I don't know, six months, a year, permanently. That's up to them. But it needs to send a message that, you know, stream sniping has to be stopped. And that's for ESEA's benefit because... Rank S games are hugely uh, appealing uh, in terms of people wanting to be involved in ESEA and people wanting to work their way up and maybe one day play with these pros because that's the system they have in place. And all of the pros who stream it are advertising for ESEA uh, and doing it. Um, sure, they make money out of it, but they're doing it for ESEA for a very small premium. I think they get some giveaway codes or whatnot. So ESEA need to support their partners in this. They need to support the people that make Rank S what it is. And Marky, unfortunately, isn't one of them. Anyway, you can tell me what you think. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I'm sure you'll be vocal about it. But thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you on the next one.